closer I get. Imagine if I was a leopard out there in the jungle and I approached this snake and with a paw reached out to touch that tail. Ah! Fine. Calm down, just so you stay calm. We're gonna need the medical evac. If you guys ah! can help me talk to Coyote, ask him normal questions. We need to keep him as calm as possible. Okay, slow. Okay. Okay, you're right in the middle. Keep this slow, okay? Keep this slow. Okay. Do a quick check. Oh my God. All right, just hang on there, dude. Hang on, it's gonna be fine. Today we're filming an episode that features one of the most dangerous snakes in all of South Africa, the Mozambique Spitting Cobra. This reptile is primarily armed with a cytotoxic venom and a bite becomes an immediate medical emergency. And the crew and I are going to participate in a training drill that will prepare us if the worst case scenario happens. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, time to reveal the snake. And, ah, bite, Mike, I got bit. Coyote freeze, back up, back up, back up. Tyrone, can you just secure ah. that snake? Hold still, hold still, okay. Snake secured. Snake secured, good. Mario, can you grab me that chair, please, and place it next to the pool table? Sit down. All right, let's get this shirt off real quick. The whole shirt? Just the side, if, okay. if anything. It's fine. Calm down, just as you stay calm. Okay, hold still. It's gotta be that tight. Yep, we gotta keep these things nice and tight. You see, you're gonna see the perfect squares as we come through. Okay. I'm gonna pull my gloves real quick. Oh, all right. Should I elevate my arm at all or anything? Nope, keep it lower than your heart. Okay. All right, let's get you up nice and slow. Jesus. Fingers tight Keep real them quick. together. Yep. Ow. Oh. Okay, let's keep this slow, okay? Keep this slow. Let's go ahead and get a move on this. We're gonna roll out, guys. And Anton's already called the local hospital, and he's got the anti-venom to pass into us so we can get it to uh, the doctor as soon as possible here as well. Oh my God. Hey, just hang on there, dude. Hang on, it's gonna be fine. Woo! And that is about as fast as you would need to move if that worst case scenario presents itself. If you are bitten by something like a Mozambique spitting cobra, you literally have minutes to get yourself into a vehicle and on your way to an emergency center. That was intense. Okay, now let's go film with the Mozambique spitting cobra. The KwaZulu Natal region of South Africa is well known for its high density of reptiles. And today, we will be getting dangerously close with the Mozambique spitting cobra. This is one of the world's most advanced venomous snakes, and they are capable of doing this, accurately spitting potent venom from a pair of modified front fangs. This venom is used as a defense, often aimed at the eyes of a would-be attacker, which in turn would give the snake a chance to escape the imposing threat. Assisting with this extreme experiment is reptile specialist Tyrone Ping. He's here to help safely wrangle the snake if things get out of control. I'm sure we are all curious to see how accurate the aim of this snake really is. And the only way to find out is to let one of these deadly reptiles spit directly at my face. All right, we are set. The Mozambique spitting cobra is right here underneath this blue bucket. Now, a lot of this might happen really quickly. These reptiles are incredibly accurate with their spitting ability. Let's see if we can catch it in slow motion. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get into position here. Woo, definitely a little nerve wracking. All right, Tyrone, when you're ready, let's uh, peel back the bucket and see what happens. I'm right here, buddy. Okay, staying calm at the moment. Oh, oh geez. I'm right here, I'm right here. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes, Cobra. Oh, wow, full shot straight into my face. Holy cow, did you guys see that? Look at the shield is completely coated. What's unique about this cobra is you'd think they would have to be completely reared up and hooding to be able to spit, but they can actually spit from that lower angle, and that's one way that they easily trick any invading predator to think, all right, I'm gonna be able to get in there and get my food but, and ah, the cobra does that. Just like that with the face. And that accuracy is unbelievable. All I have to do is move in close. Ah, and look at that, how quick that is. And that's a little bit less of a stream than I thought, but it seems just like a bunch of mist as you're driving through, let's say, a car wash. 
and it's like all over. All right, going in for another spritz. The Mozambique spitting cobra is actually one of the smaller cobra species here in South Africa. But this highly evolved defensive ability of the snake specifically is what makes it so unique. And if it is able to blind anything that's potentially attacking it, that of course gives it the chance to quickly make an escape. Look at the precision. All I need to do is move very slowly back and forth and that snake does not lose its focus on where my hand is at and specifically where my eyes are located. Let's go for one more even closer. Yeah, it's about as close as you probably want to get to a spinning cobra right there. Every single time, it makes you jolt, even though I feel completely protected behind this shield. It never gets any less nerve-wracking to be that close. Now, one of the things that's the most interesting about the fang design of this cobra species is that it has evolved over millions of years, and they have fixed front fangs. And in most instances where there's a little hole in the tip of the fang, this has a modified fang where the hole is actually in the front, and it has specialized muscles inside of the skull that allow it to spit. And the closer I get, imagine if I was a leopard out there in the jungle, and I approached this snake, and with a paw reached out to touch that tail. You get that reaction, Ooh, and there you have it. A full face full of very painful venom. Now that venom is not used in any instance for the snake to catch and kill its prey. It's only a defense mechanism, but the venom that comes from the bite specifically has neurotoxic and cytotoxic properties. This is an incredibly potent bite. And if I was bitten, it would be an immediate medical emergency, and anti-venom would definitely need to be administered if we were to save my life. But the spitting aspects, like you saw just there, will not kill you if it just gets ah, into your eye. Wow, that was two double squirts right in a row. Whew. Doesn't get much crazier than that. Oh, one of the coolest and most famous influences in relation to the spitting cobra is of course the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. And the filmmakers took the influence of this animal's ability to design the Dilophosaurus, not only in the neck frills, but also in that ability to spit venom. And right now I definitely feel like Dennis Nedry, oh, when it comes to getting shot in the face with toxic venom. You can see the snake is just completely locked in at the moment. And that accuracy is impressive. Venomous snakes don't want to use their toxic powers on humans. But if you make the foolish choice to harass or interact with them, the consequences can easily put you in the hospital, or in a worst case result, six feet underground. So at this point, we are going to get the shield off of me because I certainly don't want to keep walking around with all the ability to accidentally wipe my fingers on that, get anything in my eyes, or in a worst case scenario, somehow get it on Trent. You guys, you have to understand, I've never seen Trent as nervous as I was when that cobra got spit all over his camera. And I don't know if that's because Trent is afraid for his own well-being or the camera's well-being, but safety first, so we gotta make sure that we get everything cleaned up as best we possibly can. And that's a wrap on the Mozambique spitting cobra episode. You know what I'm going to say next, but just in case you didn't pay close attention to our 25 previous snake episodes, always admire these slithering reptiles from a respectful distance. If you plan on visiting South Africa and need help properly identifying its herps, make sure to check out Tyrone's newly published field guide. To pick up a copy of your own, click on the link in the video description below.